G'day guys, this is Wayne and Judy here from Down Under. So, at some of our projects we put up, we've showed the restoration of sewing machine cabinets. And you have a look at this one, and this is looking pretty cactus, isn't it? Most people will look at this and say, oh my goodness. What a really, really sad looking cabinet this is. But we've looked at it and we've decided this actually is an ideal cabinet for us to show you a quick and easy basic restoration. So you can see here you've got all this dark brown. That's all shellac. So we only do this with original things, um, sewing machine cabinets that actually has got the shellac on it. And how how we can see it's shellac is you get down there and you sand it just lightly with the grain and there's all your powder. So that's what shellac happens. It just goes back to crystal. So we've got all that there. So. What we can do is use a scraper. If you want to do it, you can use a scraper. Again, going with the grain, you can see how that just takes it right back to brand spanking new, but we don't want that. You can see you've got the pattern here. This beautiful marquetry. When it's really old, you get high pop spots on it so it makes it very difficult with the scraper to get on there so we just get a 140 or a 160 sandpaper and very carefully you're just doing the the marquetry area but we don't like to do this too much because you can see what's happening there Possibly you've got nice high and that's virtually sanded back. But all we want is this to be smooth enough like it is now. There's your shellac powder. And so you've now pretty much got it ready to get into. This is pale boiled linseed oil, which is linseed oil which has had an additive into it. So what happens is, when it dries, it'll actually dry hard like tongue oil. So you can see we're not going to use a lot. Now I'm keeping the existing shellac on there as much as I can because I want that to actually go into the linseed oil and um, colour it a fraction. So it actually adds a bit of character to it. So you can see the linseed oil there, she's gone on. So what I'm using here is triple O steel wool. So with this going on, and as you can see I'm going with the grain, you can actually feel where the shellac lifts and where it doesn't. So we put this on the first time just to give it a real good look. So again I'm sure you can see there already. We'll try and zoom in a little bit. But you can see just a couple of minutes what this has done. It's brought it up an absolute treat. And that's if you want the the character of the old and the old age showing through on it. You can use double O steel wool because double O steel wool will take a lot of this shellac back. But as you get there and rub it, but you can, I don't know if you can see there and there, it's had a bit of trouble lifting. So 
So what we'll do is we'll just give it a little bit of assistance. Right, so see all that? And we'll try and keep that shellac on there. And you'd be very gentle going over here, but we've sanded that back, so you're not going to get caught on the um, on the high points. So we'll just add a little bit more shellac onto that. that sorry, not shellac, um, pale boiled oil. So what's going to happen is your steel will, will gum up a bit, so you, uh, a lot of people get very concerned with me because I use such a small piece of steel wool. But I suppose that's a Scottish ancestry coming out in me. But you can see, in just this short period of time, what a huge difference This is actually done. So in here we haven't treated, but you can see the blotchy area. And because it's got in the weather, and because it's crystallised, that's actually ideal. So we don't sit, sit at it and say, oh, this is impossible. We look at it and say, this is possible. And this area here has come up an absolute treat. Now you can just see how little pale boiled oil I'm using to do the job. I'm not saturating it. And one thing you may notice, just with this short period of time, is because the wood's so old and dry, that the actual pale boiled oil is soaking straight into the timber. And that's exceptionally good because what will happen is the pale boiled oil will soak in and condition the veneer and the stuff that sits on the outside will sit there and harden like a lacquer. So we'll get a little cloth t-shirt yarn so you leave it sitting there for a couple of minutes and let it soak in because you've got to take all the streaks if there's any streaks left on it you have got to remove those so we'll sit that like that so you can see in just this short period of time what an absolute amazing job that's done Relatively cheap, pale, boiled, linseed oil. I don't know where it's used in other countries or what they actually call it. That's here in Australia. So again, I'm doing this rather difficultly. You can see where I've done the top. So you can see, I did this corner yesterday. And you can see how all of it looked. And this one I didn't even scrape, I just used pale boiled oil. But you can see the beautiful grain and everything on that. So this is a pretty cheap, a quick, efficient job. And if you've done it and you're not happy with it, what you can do is you can sand the top back and then you can do a French polish or a lacquer or whatever you wish over it. Myself, you can do about four, five, six coats of this using steel wool each time and eventually what will happen is that will just become a very, very fine sheen. Um, sometimes I've got there and I've scraped all the shellac off put it in with some new shellac 
and some methylated spirits and use that to actually colour to give the aged look. But I actually like seeing some of the effects from the previous years on it. So that should give you a pretty good idea. But you only do this, as I said earlier, if it's just had shellac and it's in its natural condition. It can come off and, you know, that looks absolutely... I'll see if we can zoom in here. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And when you have a look at what she's come up like, that's a that's a homemade scraper that I made, so I just got a bit of steel and bent it. So again, boiled linseed oil. But that's a pretty amazing job, isn't it? So we'll leave it to you to make your decision, but it is relatively easy. But preparation is everything, and as you go, you will learn. So hopefully this will give you some idea, but as you can see there, that is an absolute fantastic result, isn't it? From that to that virtually in five minutes. That's incredible. So again, using boiled linseed oil. So this is Wayne and Judy signing off from Down Under and Happy Restoration. Thank you.